welcome or welcome back to Life on the French. Today, I am going to show you how real my Dollar Tree addiction is. I'm very excited, I bought a lot of stuff, and that's it, that's the premise of this video. <laughs> um, but I bought, the reason I'm showing you is I bought a lot of stuff that I'm planning on using in future videos, so you can look forward to those. Plus, like, who doesn't like a whole video? So, the first thing I got is this mugshot mug, and I'm gonna put something in the bottom of it, and then we can take pictures of the hamsters like peeking out so they have their mug shots. I'm so excited about it. I just, I think that's gonna be really cute. What else? Okay, speaking of hamsters, uh, I bought these like flowers from the Dollar Tree. I got these pink ones. These like yellow ones. These blue ones. And these wet ones. So together. Well. Now uh, I plan on using some of these like to like scatter around for a spring sort of scene with the hamsters. Obviously, like you wouldn't want to put these in their cages because you wouldn't want them to like eat them. But for supervised like play, um, I think these could be pretty stimulating and very adorable. And they also go with a spring sign. So I got the bunny. I'm a sucker for weeds. Uh, but this one, uh, I can lean against the back of the cage, the background, and then have the flowers in the front, and then, you know, happy spring. So, I'm excited for this. This is gonna be fun. Um, it'll be separate from, we'll do a spring video, and then we'll do like an Easter video. Um, so for the Easter video, uh, we're gonna drape the this over the top of their play area. Not in their play area, because they would definitely try to chew on this. But over the top, um, as a little like celebration kind of lights. Um, and then we're gonna put it around our door. Uh, going back to the spring and also the Easter one, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we're using the flowers for both. Um, but we'll change up the background bits and probably like some of the like details and the yeah. anyhow these little blue flowers which are so cute and these pink ones and the yellow ones and if you if you watched my uh, hamster cage cleaning videos I'll link one of them up here you'll <clears throat> know that each of my hamsters as a little flower uh, tea candle holder from the Dollar Tree, and they each have their own color. So Rocky's is pink, uh, Butters is yellow, and Patches is blue. So I was really excited that I could find these three colors together, and then also the flowers. It was perfect. Meant to be. Meant to be. So before the spring video. Um, I'm planning on doing a scene, uh, of them with, like, the forest in the background, and I already have some stuff, like, I have some logs, and I have, like, the, um, like, this, like, house that's, like, out of bark, and, you know, like, some natural looking stuff, but I wanted to just get a couple more things, I don't know, so I bought this, um, which I think is super cute. It's like a little flower house. Um, yeah, I just, I really like this. And um, one of my friends uh, is big into making like little gardens out of these. So uh, it can be repurposed. Uh, same with this one. 
Like, how cute is that? You know? Uh, and then I found, there's three different doors. So they each have their own little door. Um, I don't know whose is going to be whose yet, but there's this one. It says welcome. It's the smallest door, so this one's probably going to be Rocky's. And then these two for Butter and Patch. So you can comment below which one, whose who's you think is whose. Because uh, I, I really can't decide. So let me know what you think. Um, other hamster related items. Same idea. Uh, we'll probably make a video of like us actually trying to assemble these because I've never, I don't know if these are gonna be good quality or not. Um, but I was thinking I could put these into the forest video as well. Um, put some seeds in here, and then th depending on the size, I may or may not include uh, this. Or I may like convert the um, opening. So if it's too small and they squeeze in and they can't get out, you know. But that's this. And also for that video, uh, I have this like Ivy Photos. It's not Ivy. Uh, is it Photos? What's this called? Oh, uh, yeah, Photos. Photos. But there's an H, right? Pothos. 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 Final verdict. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, we also got mini golf. <laughs> like really mini mini golf. We've kind of collect these like weird Dollar Tree games and like review them in different videos. So I don't know what we're gonna use with this yet. But this was like too good not to pass, pass to, too good to pass up. Um, if you want to see our games playlist, you can click up here, or I'll look at Dollar Tree games once you know what I'm talking about. Then I got these paint kits, because um, we we always like to do one each season. So these will probably go up in uh, our Easter video, but also we'll probably film painting them, maybe. Um, but they're so fun. I love these. Uh, okay. Now we have two bags left. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. Like, this is a crazy amount of stuff. That is right. <laughs> this bag. is my other addiction that is fueled primarily through the Dollar Tree. Scrapbooking stickers. If you scrapbook or like make cards, like make your own stationery, anything, like don't go to like Michael's. Uh, unless they're having like a really big sale because this same like level of sticker would cost you three or four dollars at Michael's um, for the same number of stickers maybe more uh, I thought that like I would because we've gone to Michael's like because I was thinking well I'm buying all these individual packs maybe they'll have like it'll be cheaper overall if I just buy some stickers there nope still cheaper to buy sets at the Dollar Tree and they're like three-dimensional and they're super cute. Uh, and I really haven't had any issues with them sticking to the pages or anything. Uh, so, we've got these purple flowers. I won't force you to look at all of them, but, you know, spring. They're just like really cute. Like, just very cute designs. Like, you know. And a beach. Butterflies. They also have these, which 
I buy them each time and then I forget that I'm not like the biggest fan of how these look. But every time I buy this style and then I'm like, why did I buy this style? But it's okay. Uh, more flowers, these silver flowers, which I think are gonna be really cool like on a black and white page or something. And then I got these pink flowers for all the French uh, videos that we made, um, you know, for the photos from those. And finally, some more little butterflies. So, that was a large chunk of the budget. <laughs> this bag, I'm very excited about. Uh, let me pull out what's not included in what I'm excited about, but I'm still excited about. So this, this is going to be uh, also for the uh, spring one. So you know how I was saying I was gonna hang this for Easter? I'm gonna hang this one for spring and it's a necklace. Um, but my plan is to cut it and then there's like little bits where you can cut it open and just put something on the end or tie a knot and then use these uh, to drape over the thing so it still looks very floral. So last but not least, this bag. This bag is full of Easter candy for us to try. It's specifically Easter chocolate that are not like name brand or aren't name brand to us. They could be like name brand, but like I have not heard of these brands. Um, to see like if you could get like your candy for Easter from the Dollar Tree uh, and it would be like good, you know, just for a little gift bag or whatever. Um, and some of them are really cute and some of them are not. I, the design, someone was not thinking of when they made one of these. I don't want to reveal them to you because I'm going to be doing a whole video about these uh, candies versus the other ones where I won't be showing you the setup of the scene, just the scene. So I, that's fine. But I'm very excited to show you these. This video is going to be very fun and I will probably be like sugar crazy afterwards. So we also got these gemstone excavation uh, packs. And in the picture, I, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, a hammer. It doesn't come with a hammer. It just comes with a paintbrush and this. So I don't know if I need to like find a mini hammer or if we can just use this. Uh, but regardless, I'm interested to see if they're the same. Uh, and of course, it'll be a, kind of a competition to get there, who can get their gem out first uh, between me and Stan. So this will be fun. I'm excited for this. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of our content, click subscribe and uh, comment down below uh, what is your favorite item from this bunch, what video you're looking forward to the most so we can know what to prioritize. And yeah, most importantly, have a wonderful day. Bye. Also, if you guys are wondering what the price was uh, before tax, uh, $47. Uh, so this is a lot of stuff for $47. Uh, especially with the scrapbook stuff included. Um, you just can't get that, pro like you, you would end up, that would have been the whole price. For all the stickers I got, if I bought all of these at Michael's, it would have been about $30. Like, maybe even $40, probably $40. Um, versus I got all this other stuff, the bag of candy, which is like pretty chock full um, for $47. So again, none of these videos are like sponsored by me. 
at all. Not not sponsored. Would love to be sponsored. Uh, but I'm just out here trying to find bargains. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, bye.